we'll see independence what is the meaning of independence as internal auditor objectivity as we discuss impairment what will happen which may question our objectivity and independence auditor proficiency what means what he should be expert of what he should know as a general knowledge so this is we'll see what internal audit resources we need like computers people what is the concept of due professional care and continuing professional development quality assurance and improvement program uh, that is for uh, qc like because we have to continuously improve our internal auditing practices as well so we make quality assurances we report to committee on audit assure, quality assurances and we bring people from outside and we ask them to comment upon the condition of internal audit department as a independent and assessments let's start the discussion independence of the internal audit activity as we uh, discussed that internal audit department should be independent independent in appearance and independent in actual these are two words that we should be familiar with because sometimes you are saying i am independent but actually you are not independent so both ways you have to be independent uh you should uh, must be independent and internal auditor must be objective in performing their work so you should always be fair unbiased when you are doing some work organizational independence is effectively achieved when the audit when the caae reports functionally to the board so what we do is we make a structure that i am internal control head So you call me as CAE Chief Audit Executive. I report to Audit Committee uh, functionally for day-to-day -day reporting. Administratively, I report to management, like my timing, my going, coming, my annual leave, my other small day-to-day -day petty matters. I will go. I will not go to board because they are not doing this. This is through administration. So. i can say that i am functionally reporting to audit committee and administratively i am reporting to the management okay so example of functional reporting to board involve the board we involve the board when board of board means audit committee when we need the approval of internal audit charter uh when we need the approval of risk based internal audit plans like a ceo will make through his team a budget and will show it to the board before the year starts same way head of internal audit will show his plan his or her plan to the board or audit committee and get the approval from them well in advance you know they will ask okay are you covering this area that area if the organization is big you have multi locations so of course you have to divide your planning over the years so improve the internal audit budgeting resource planning receive communications from cae on iia performance approving decision regarding appointment and removal of cae because ceo cannot hire internal auditor uh, it should be through audit committee they will hire a head of audit they will further you know hire rehires of course approving the remuneration of cae he they will decide how much he will be paid for making appropriate inquiries of management and cae to determine whether they are in appropriate scope of resource limitations these are all the very very sensitive and top level matters that audit committee has to deal uh, on in an effective way in a diagram style you can see this is head of internal audit functionally he is reporting to the board board has a committee called audit committee administratively for his annual leave for daily issues he will be reporting to the senior management who is led by the ceo okay we will move forward objectivity is an unbiased 
mental attitude that allow internal orator to perform engagement in such a matter that believe in work product and no quality compromises are made so you are based your decision on facts and figures you are a fair and rational it require internal order do not subordinate their judgments on audit matters to the others so means don't be biased don't follow any racism culture religion you should be fair a uh, conflict of interest is a term that we use when we feel that the same position requires that you you should not be a part of this because it may lead people to an opinion that there is lack of transparency and independence for example uh, there is a daughter who is going to audit the father there is mother and uh, brother uh, like you know son uh, brother sisters uh, blood relations which we call them connected people then i am the investor i invest in a company plus i am the auditor of that company so my major interest will always remain that i should get more dividend out of that so that will create a conflict of interest few things are never compromisable so we have to disassociate ourselves from that situations is a situation in which internal order who is in a position of trust has a competing professional or personal interest a conflict of interest can create an appearance of impropriety that can undermine confidence in internal auditor means we can start believing that uh, what is this you know this is not fair it does not means logic you know for example i am purchasing procurement head is purchasing from my company and i am the internal auditor of the company as well and uh, i am saying no no everything is according to the rules regulation but the third party will see what is this you know it's not possible you know. a conflict of interest could impair or an individual ability to perform his or her duties and responsibilities objectively because if someone steal we will catch but if our own brother sister father steal uh, we will be little sympathetic to them we will uh, feel okay this is a mistake you know but the, a person we don't know we will not feel this is like a human heart it moves in that way access individual objectivity the cae must maintain policies and procedure to assess the ob- objectivity of individual internal auditors so a smart internal auditing management what they do is they create a special uh, department to keep an eye on the internal auditors they investigate them through different ways that there is no chance this is all arm forces and uh, you know security agencies they do the same way if you are a armed officer they make a special force to investigate you you know uh, they give you powers but they have a double check on you that will create a very good uh, you know efficiency transparency and objectivity impairment to independence means what you will do that your you we will say no 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 this is not fair actually we should not trust you okay so he says that independence or objectivity is in impair in fact or in appearance means actually you did something or maybe in appearance for example i uh, invite my internal auditor uh, to watch movie with me and then i give him some special gifts and it was a weekend uh, so apparently i uh, impair you know the object because auditor if he accepts my gifts uh, expensive gifts and start spending time with me that's not allowed and that is impairing my objectivity so iia provide examples and the responses to impairment he says interloiter are to report to cae any situation in which actual or potential